Hey everyone, this is my tutorial on the second violin part of Amazing Grace. If you're stuck at home, hopefully this will give you something to do during this horrible pandemic. I wrote in a lot of open strings. You don't have to do the open strings, that's more for the beginner. Uh, for those of you who are more advanced, you don't need those fingerings at all. But you can start with a fourth finger. And if you want to, fourth position. Um, on bar six or seven, on bar seven, you can start with an F sharp and shift into third position. That will give you uh, both the crescendo and it'll, it'll give you this nice warm character of playing up on the D string rather than crossing over to the A string. But whatever you can and uh, feel comfortable, you can avoid string crossings with positions and match the tonal qualities of having fingered notes all the time rather than open strings. So if you're using open strings, just play a lot less pressure. Just use the side of the air on the pickup. You can play more when you finger the notes. Same here. Pick up soft. Crescendo. Crescendo. Maybe not. Maybe a, lay off a little bit. Here on the pickup, you can play louder. Very low F natural. And maybe fourth finger here, if you can. But if not, So you get the idea. We'll do this together. I'm gonna to turn on my click track. Here we go. One, One two, you're gonna start three, on the third beat. Two, 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 three. This time. Ready? One, play. Two. Make sure that F natural is low. Again. A little less here. I'm sorry I didn't write down the dynamics, but it's kind of a natural thing. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can ask me on the Fiddler Man forum or you can ask me underneath the YouTube video. I really look forward to getting your submission and thank you so much for watching.